Can you trust medical lab tests? Can you trust official counts of cases of diseases such as COVID or monkeypox? A subtle but widespread problem is high false positive rates when a test is widely used for disease with a low or even tiny incidence rate. For example, if a test has a false positive rate of 10%, then a majority of positive test results will be false if the incidence of the disease is only 6.25%. Even worse, if the test has a false positive rate of 10% and the incidence rate of the disease is only 1.3%, almost 90%, nine-tenths of the positive test results will be false positives. The anti-nuclear antibody, or ANA, test for lupus has false positive and negative rates in this ballpark. Lupus, however, is much rarer than our hypothetical disease. This slide shows the first example, with only 6.25% of people sick. In this example, a group of about 160 people are tested. About 150 are well, they're healthy, illustrated by the gold figure icons. In contrast, 10, or about 6.25%, are sick with a fever, actual symptoms, illustrated by the red figure icons. What happens if we test the people and ignore the symptoms? Our hypothetical test has a false positive rate of 10%. This means 1 in 10 well, healthy persons will test positive. The false negative rate is also 10%, meaning 1 in 10 sick people will test negative. The anti-nuclear antibody, or ANA, test for lupus has false positive and negative rates in this ballpark. Lupus, however, is much rarer than our hypothetical disease. The iHealth COVID-19 home antigen test is shown with a negative test result as a concrete example. However, I could not find the false positive or false negative rates of the test on the container or in the detailed printed instructions provided with the test. The 10% false positive and negative rates are for a purely hypothetical example. In the hypothetical example, our test gives us about 15 false positives, healthy people who are reported sick by the test. On the other hand, 9 of the 10 actually sick people are reported as 6, 9 true positives. This means a majority, 62.5%, almost two-thirds of the positive test results are false positives, fake test results. If the true incidence of the disease is much lower, for example 1.3%, the false positive problem is even greater. This slide shows an incident rate of 1.3%, with about 760 total people tested. About 750, the gold figure icons, are well, healthy people. Only 10, again, are sick, the red figure icons. What happens when the people are tested? About 75 false positives and 9 true positives. 89.3%, almost 90%, nine-tenths of the positive test results are false, fake results. Amongst other things, this means if we count as cases people with only a positive test result and ignore actual symptoms, body temperature, or running a fever in this case, we can get huge counts of cases that are mostly spurious. As a specific example, the anti-nuclear antibody, or ANA, test for the rare disease lupus has a false positive rate of about 5% in healthy persons. In contrast, the test is positive in about 90% of people with lupus. It has a false negative rate of about 10%. Lupus is much rarer than the 1% of the population in our hypothetical example. Thus, the ANA test is primarily useful to confirm a diagnosis of lupus based on symptoms. Thus, in general, caution is needed when interpreting results of tests for relatively rare conditions, even those with a 1% incidence. Counts of cases based on tests alone without symptoms 
may be wildly inflated and misleading. This concludes this video presentation. If you like this video, please click like. Please click subscribe and the notification bell if you would like to receive more content from us. You can avoid internet censorship by subscribing directly to our RSS news feed. Please consider sharing the link by email and on your website or blog, in addition to liking, upvoting, or sharing on increasingly censored, advertising beholden, big company social media. We have encountered such censorship. Mathematical software is developing algorithms and software to automate data analysis, reducing the risks of costly errors, and increasing the predictive power of the results. You can support our work financially by subscribing on our Patreon page, https colon slash slash www.patreon.com slash mathsoft, or scanning the QR code in the lower right corner.